There are many ways to wear perfume and different ways to apply it depending on the type of perfume as well as different scents that are appropriate for various settings. Perfume application, while seemingly simple, can become incredibly complex and the strength of the application are supposed to differ based on weather, hormones, and stress. In addition to that, how someone prepares their skin can also have a profound effect on the potency and the effect of the perfume. Perfume combines with the chemicals in a person's skin and as such will smell different on different people. To select a perfume, it should be sprayed on the skin and allowed to sit for 10 to 15 minutes so that it can mix with your own body's chemistry. When showering, it's best to use non-scented products as perfume has a tendency to mix with other scented products and can dilute or completely change the smell of a perfume. For the same reason, spraying perfume over an area that has had lotion spread all over it is not advised. You may want to apply unscented aloe vera gel before applying the perfume. This will help the fragrant molecules cling to the skin longer and keep you from having to reapply your scent throughout the day. When actually applying the perfume, it's usually sprayed in regions called pulse points. These pulse points include the wrist, the back of the knees, the throat, behind the elbow, or behind your ears. These points are areas where blood flows the strongest and the skin is the warmest. Some people like to apply their perfume to their hair, and this is best done not by actually spraying the hair, but by spraying the hairbrush. After spraying the brush with perfume, Lightly brush through your hair a few times and it will appropriately scent your hair. Some people choose to apply perfume by spraying it in the air and walking back and forth through the mist. When people select this method, a lot of product is usually wasted, but they feel they get a better overall scent. In this case, only spray the perfume one or two times at most. Otherwise, the scent will be too strong and repel people instead of attracting them. When wearing perfume, it's important to consider the environment you'll be wearing it in and how the scent will affect others. If dressing for work in a small office, try not to wear a strong fragrance as it will overpower your coworkers. When traveling by public transportation, apply your perfume when you've arrived at your destination. Keep in mind, lest is best. You want your scent to be amazing in an understated way.